Hello, hello, and welcome back to Pokémon Yellow version. In the previous episode, we paid a visit to Misty at the Cerulean City Gym, and we earned ourselves the Cascade Badge. And now, in this episode, we're gonna move forward a little bit. Of course, if you don't want to miss any future episodes, then I do encourage you to consider subscribing to the channel. Now, before anything else, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna talk to this person here. I take care of injured Pokémon. I nursed this Bulbasaur back to health. It needs a good trainer to take care of it now. Oh, I know. Would you take care of this Bulbasaur? Yes. Hey, free Bulbasaur. Do I want to give a nickname? No. Please take care of Bulbasaur. And just like that, we have made ourselves another friend and another member of our final party. Uh, back at level 10, just like Charmander was, so it'll take a little bit of training. Uh, yeah, Bulbasaur starts with Leech Seed, which is not a very powerful grass-type attack, but... Oh well. Bulbasaur will be our grass-type in our final party, and you'll also notice I did a little bit of grinding off-camera. Everybody, except this Pidgey, everybody's at level 20. So hopefully we'll be able to... Well keep up with the Pokemon trainers in the coming areas. Misty had a level 21, so hopefully we aren't against anything stronger than that. Now, Officer Jenny here was previously blocking this door. These poor people here were robbed. Now, we're positive that Team Rocket is behind this terrible deed. Even our police force has trouble with the Rockets. Well, there's one standing right in the backyard here, as we could see. Uh, hey, buddy. Uh, those miserable rockets. Look what they did here. They stole a TM for teaching Pokémon how to dig holes. Uh, that cost me a bundle, it did. Well, Pikachu, I think you know what we've got to do. We've got to get that TM and not return it. Use it for ourselves. Hey, buddy. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Uh, me? Uh, I'm an innocent bystander. Uh, don't you believe me? Why are you attacking me, innocent bystander? I believed you. Oh my gosh, it's a rocket. And he wants to fight. Now, he sent out Machop, level 17, alright. I believe I can deal with level 17 Machop. Uh, who should I use? Butterfree? Yeah, let's use Butterfree. Are you gonna use Karate Chop? Oh, you bet. Mm, okay, yeah. That did a lot of damage. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get him in one hit, so let's hope that Sleep Powder does hit, which it did. Perfect, and now you're asleep. Now I have free reign to use Confusion all I want. Yeah, not quite there, eh? You are asleep and confused. That is not a good position to be in, Machop. And now you're fainted. 159 experience. About to use Drowsy. Will I change Pokemon? Huh, oh, we haven't seen a Drowsy yet. Okay, Bulbasaur, here you go. So Drowsy is a Psychic type. Uh... Actually, I think I get the opportunity to catch one pretty soon, but I'm not going to. What do I use against Drowsy? What are the odds Drowsy knows a Psychic-type attack? Hmm, probably pretty high? Now yeah, let's send out Pikachu. Let's see what Pikachu can do. Pound. Okay, well, Mankey probably could have taken that. Let's throw out the Mega Punch! Look at that damage. And there's the Disable. Quick attack was disabled. Well, I'm sorry, Drowsy, but here comes another Mega Punch! And Bulbasaur grew to level 11. And I've defeated the Rocket. Oh, stop! I give up! I'll leave quietly. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. Hey, look, I got it. I'd better get moving, bye! 
What do you think, Pikachu? Should I return this TM? I wonder what happens. What happens if you talk to him? I figure what's lost is lost. I decided to teach Diglett how to dig without a TM. Ah, so what you're saying is you spend money foolishly on things you don't need. What a mood. Anyway, I'm gonna use that TM immediately because it's actually quite useful. Here it is. TM, it contained Dig. Yes, I will teach Dig to Mankey. Trying to learn Dig. Can't learn more than four moves. Uh, yes, I will delete an older move. And that will be Leer. Yeah, I don't need Leer. Get out of here. So what Dig does is it's a two-part attack. You dig underground the first turn and your opponent's attacks will miss you, and then you pop out of the ground afterward and do damage to them. What is this? Well, ain't that interesting. A Jigglypuff at level 3. Hmm, okay. I think Jigglypuffs are actually quite difficult to find, sort of like Clefairy. So I'm gonna try to catch this one. Oh, you bum. Always with the sing, and it hits every time. Uh-huh. I don't appreciate that, Jigglypuff. But at the same time, I feel like you... Do you only know sing? Is that it? Am I in a sing loop? Do I just have to pray that you miss? I'm already asleep, Jigglypuff. You can't keep singing. I can't hear you, it's pointless. Oh, there we go, I woke up. And here's another sing. <sighs> okay. Okay, finally. Now I can put you to sleep. The shoe is on the other foot now, Jigglypuff. How do you like it? Uh huh. Items, Pokeball. I don't think I can use any sort of attack that won't kill this thing. But all it took was one Pokeball, and a little bit of grief on my part. Uh, new Pokedex data will be added for Jigglypuff. The Balloon Pokemon. It uses its alluring eyes to enrapture its foe. It then sings a pleasing melody that lulls the foe to sleep. Yes, I know. I am all too familiar with that particular tactic. Uh, this house right here, this is the daycare. You can leave your Pokémon with this guy, and uh, every step you take they earn one experience point. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Because I am quite capable of raising my own Pokémon. Uh, anyway, uh, back to talking about Dig. You can use it to dig out of uh, any dungeon in the game, and warp yourself back to the beginning, sort of like an escape rope. So as long as I have my Mankey on my party, I'll never need to worry about escape ropes again. Now, here we've got some more trainers. Hey, buddy, what do you got? Uh, I'm doing this out of love! Leave me alone! Oh, I'm sorry to disturb you. You got one Pokémon, and it is a Weepin Bell. That is the evolved form of Bellsprout. So, Weepin Bell, I feel like you are unlikely to have any sort of attack that can do something against Charmeleon. Poison Powder. Well, that's something that can do something against Charmeleon. Not very pleased about that, but I think I should be able to take you out in time. Growth. Yeah, you'll need it. Special Rose. Oh, actually, that'll make Ember do less damage. In later generations, they split a Pokémon's special attack and special defense into two different stats, but for some reason that's not the case in the first gen. Maybe it was just because of, like, programming space? I don't know. Ugh, the attack continues. Yeah, here, this is what I'm talking about. Poison and rap at the same time. Brutal. Get out of here. 
Bulbasaur grew to level 12. Nice, 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 and I've defeated the junior trainer. <laughs> no, this can't be. Uh, and I bought these antidotes for a reason. I'm going to use one. Yes, cured of poison. How about you? I'm training for my love. Don't bother me. Ugh, these guys, they're, uh... Yeah, they're something all right. Okay, what do you have, junior trainer female? You have a Cubone at level 20. All right, that's gonna hurt a lot. Uh, Cubone is a ground type. Maybe Butterfree could actually do some good here. So what are you gonna use? You're gonna use Growl, okay. Cubone and its evolved form have, yeah, Bone Club. They have their own sort of signature attacks. They do a lot of damage. They're not super weak attacks, so... I'd rather not get hit by them. But because they're ground-type, they can't hit Butterfree. And Confusion isn't doing a huge amount of damage, but I'll get there. Ah. Well, this is all it takes. Oh, mm, missed. Okay. You had me worried there, Butterfree. And Bulbasaur grew to level 13. And learned Vine Whip. Good. There's an attack that'll actually do damage. Uh, my textbook never... Oh, it's all about the textbooks, huh? Now I understand. Pokemon isn't about calculated numbers. Well, the thing about that is it kind of is. But we don't need to tell her that. Uh, what are you? Probably a bug catcher or something? What do you got for me? I've never seen you around. Are you good? Well, you'd better believe it. Yeah, this is a bug catcher. You've got one Pokemon. And it is a Butterfree. Ooh. Level 20 Butterfree. Pikachu? Or Charmeleon? Yeah, let's use Pikachu. As long as Butterfree doesn't use Sleep Powder. Ugh, Poison Powder? Okay. The Powder Attacks only have a 75% chance of hitting, so... Yeah... Hmm. That only had a 55% chance of hitting. Truly, Pokémon is not always just about the numbers. That did a lot of damage. Pikachu, why are you doing so much damage to yourself? Uh, hmm... Potion? Is it even worth using a potion? Okay. You know what, we're just gonna split this experience all over the place. Charmeleon... Sh mm, the Supersonics. They are attacking me in full force. I got away with it for far too long. Oh, that didn't do very much damage. Luckily, this Butterfree seems to only know the Powder Attacks and Supersonic. That is a very strange moveset. But we each got 226 experience, so that's something. You are too good. You should teach your Butterfree some actual attacks. Ah, two more trainers, eh? Pikachu's not doing very well. Okay, let's, let's see what they have to offer. Me? Well, okay, I'll play. I didn't ask you. You're the one who came up to me. Junior trainer female. What do you got? You got a Pidgey? I really wish I could use my Pikachu now. Well... Yeah, Mankey should be able to deal with Pidgey. I don't think Pidgey actually gets any flying-type attacks for a little while. Quick attack? Yeah. The normal attacks are still going to do a lot of damage, though. Not as much as my Karate Chop, mind you. Though it is very strange to see Gust not acting as a flying-type attack. Pidgey fainted, we got a bit of experience. Bulbasaur grew up to level 14. Uh, another Pidgey. 
No, I can't keep taking hits like that. Sorry, Bulbasaur, your training will have to come later. If I had Pikachu, this might not be so bad. But I'm so close to a Pokémon Center. And about to use another Pidgey. Surprise, surprise. Alright, well, Mankey can take one more hit anyway. Thank goodness, no quick attack. And I've defeated the junior trainer. Just didn't work. Alright, well, I guess I'll face your boyfriend now. Uh, yeah, well, Butterfree's still in good shape. And Charmeleon. You've got two Pokémon, alright. One of them's a Spearow. Hmm. Spearow does, however, get flying attacks pretty early. So let's try Charmeleon. See what we can do here. Spearow used Leer, alright. Uh huh. How much does Ember do? Woo, that's a lot. And I burned ya. That wasn't even a critical hit, wow. I'm surprised, actually. Ember is not a particularly powerful attack. Okay, there we go, and you also have a Raticate. Uh, yeah, no, you know what? I don't want to take unnecessary damage, and this thing is going to do a lot of it, I can tell. Tail Whip, alright, alright. You missed, I'll consider that a win for me. Tail Whip a second time, you should really stop that. I guarantee you no Hyper Fan. And Charmeleon's level 21. I didn't start it. Uh, actually, you did. You very much did start it. Now, here we are. This is Vermilion City. Uh, so I'm gonna go heal up real quick. Yes, please, heal my Pokémon. Pokemon are fighting fit, hope to see you again, etc, etc, etc. Now, somewhere around here, there's... Uh, well, I guess you give me something. I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? I do. Grand, I like your style. Take this and fish, young one. Hey, look, it's an old rod. Fishing is a way of life. From the seas to rivers, go out and land the big one, young one. So the old rod can be used anywhere you're next to the water, but I think it can only catch Magikarps. So, yeah, I don't think I'll be using it. Uh, what else is in Vermilion City? There's a Mart, there's another Officer Jenny who I'll have to talk to later, and there's the Pokémon Fan Club! All Pokémon fans are welcome. And Pikachu is in love! Hey, Pikachu. Oh, look at all those hearts. What does Clefairy think of all this? Yeah, I know what you mean. So, let's, uh, let's go up here. Let's talk to the chairman. Uh, I chair the Pokémon fan club. I have more than a hundred Pokémon. I love them all. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokémon. So... Did you come to hear me brag about my Pokémon? Oh, I sure did! Good, and listen up. My favorite Rapidash. Da 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 da, cute, lovely, smart, amazing, you think so? Oh yeah, and stunning, da 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 da, -da. love it. Hug it when sleeping, warm and cuddly, it's a little weird, buddy. Spectacular, ravishing. Oh, look at the time. I kept you too long. Uh, thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. And for listening to this guy ramble, we get the bike voucher! Exchange that for a bicycle! Don't worry, my Fero will fly me anywhere. I don't need a bicycle. I hope you like cycling. Indeed I do. The bicycle is a very handy item to have. And, uh, hmm. What do you think, Pikachu? Yeah, I'm gonna go get it right now. No time to waste. 
Well, there's actually a lot of time to waste. Because it is a bit of a walk. Let's cut through the grass. I wonder if any Pokémon will... Oh, no, none of them. I thought I could tempt fate and find something cool. But it was not to be. Listening to the pleasant music. We have to go all the way back up here. And unfortunately, there is a tree blocking our path. A tree that is slightly different from the others. What could that mean, Pikachu? I wonder. But we're almost there. There's a shortcut back into town. You just jump off this cliff and you're there. Now, where's the bicycle store? It's down here, I believe. Yeah, this one. Look at all these bikes. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's a bike voucher. Okay, here you go. And I exchanged the bike voucher for a bicycle. Simple as that. Yeah, how do you like your new bicycle? You take it on cycling road and in caves. Where is it? Where's the bicycle? Uh, where is it? Here it is. Guess what? Uh, it goes right up to the top. Uh, but I kind of want my potions to be there too. There we go. So normally the bicycle is worth one million Poké Dollars. Which you can never get no matter how hard you try. So this is the only way to get it. Although one of my friends once did actually try to save up enough money to do that. Didn't know about the, uh, the bike voucher. Get on the bicycle! Yeah, here we go! Vroom vroom! And into this person's house. Forces me to get off the bike. And now I get on again! So in future Pokémon games, of course, they simplify this process a little bit. You can register an item like the bicycle to the select button or another button. And then all you have to do is press that button and away you go. So Gen 1 is a little bit clunky in these areas, but hey, that's kind of what you expect from the early ones, and you would expect the newer ones to be a little bit nicer. Uh-huh. You know what? One more wild Pokémon. Come on, come on, there's got to be one. What is it? Show me the goods. It's a Pidgey. It's a level 17 Pidgey, mind you. Well, Bulbasaur, you are no match for that Pidgey. A quick attack? Yeah, I expected as much. Thundershock, however, should do plenty of damage. Critical hit. Pikachu's having none of that. And Pikachu grew to level 21. Excellent. You know what? I'll take it. That's a good place to end things. I get on my bike and ride down to Vermilion City. And we're here. Where's the Pokemon Center? I passed it. Here we go. So yeah, uh, in the next episode then, I will continue to walk around the area, fight some trainers, you know, Pokemon game stuff. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and I do hope that you'll join me again in the next thrilling episode of this. Ta-ta!